Welcome everyone to Through House Supercars. Uh, welcome all. Welcome to Group A Round 4 at the lovely Brands Hatch in at Brands Hatch in the lovely, lovely suburb of Kent. Uh, wow, pretty excited for tonight. It is going to be epic. Um, looks like we will have but it looks like close to a full grid of races. Um, so we've got pretty exciting stuff. Uh, so tonight, what are, we, what are we looking forward to tonight? Well, we do have all our fast guys in, so it's going to be fantastic. Really looking forward to that. Uh, so we are going to run through the field. So I've got my co-commentator, Micah. He's going to be racing tonight, so that's going to be fantastic as well. So, just catch up on a bit of a Thrill House news there at the moment. So, you're probably all thinking, if you haven't heard the news, why, hang on, why is Sean on the mic? I've decided to hit back to Group C uh, for, you know, hip, just to sort of promote the stream more, but more so get my commentary skills down absolutely packed. Uh, welcome, Shane. Welcome. Shane's one of our new members, so welcome along. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Uh, so that's the reason I'm uh, up here on the box for Group A, so definitely looking forward to uh, bringing us all the action tonight. Uh, should be a really good race, absolutely really looking forward to this. It's a um, fantastic little circuit, this one, one of my absolute personal favourites. G'day Ben, welcome along, welcome, welcome. So tonight there's some real heavy hitters, so it's going to be really good. Let's go for a ride on board, Brands Hatch, heading now into Paddock Hill. Normally fourth gear, some take it in third, it depends how you go. Heading up to Druids. Probably a two line corner, you can take the outside of the inside. Now out of Druids Port and get a good exit into the probably worst corner on the track, Graham Hill. That outside curve can really suck you in. Out of Graham Hill now we go up to another great passing opportunity, Surtees. Named after the great John Surtees, who is the only bloke that won the Formula 1 and Motorcycle World Championship. There you go. Now, down the long straight now. Really building up some great speed. This is probably now coming to my favourite part. Hawthorne. What a corner. Now the Derek, now in the Minter straight. Now into Dingle Dow. What a great part of the track this is. This is so much fun. And into my favourite corner, Shane Curve. Oh, 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 V8 running a bit wide there. Tricky corner, so blind on the entry. Now into Sterlings. Out of Sterlings, hard on the gas. Building up speed now into the fantastic section known as Clearways and Clark. Through Clearways into Clark Curve. Now really hard on the gas again, and that's a lap around the gorgeous Brands Hatch circuit. Welcome Hannah, welcome, welcome. Doremus, welcome along mate. The Good Mond, welcome buddy. So just just uh, having a bit of a look here on Discord for our Through House members. If you haven't, uh, please go to the Group A meeting room. There is a little video that has dropped that should get you all up and about. So we have started qualifying, so I uh, better get into it and uh, see sort of where the qualifying's at and uh, just having a look there at live time. So we've got Micah there on a 123.69 just to set the pace. Uh, Hendo's, come Hendo's come across there with a 123.4. Then we've got Prusky now with a 123.2. From what I've been researching at the hot times we are looking like we might dip into the 20s maybe a, hot, a low 21. So as we now we're looking at V8 there, my replacement. So do, do Zen and Proud, buddy. In the That Other Console Mustang. 
So looking at Pruski there. Dan leading the way though with a gap of six hundredths of a second. Hendo in third. Hendo has dropped. Warden has just pumped in a time. Going back. Warden's down in the 128. That is a stonking time. Already on the gas. Great to see. So we've got Micah there. And the DGR Team Penske Mustang. Crossing the line now. Oh, looks like he is on his warm up lap. So we will stay with Micah there for a lap. Let's see how he tacks this lap. Coming up now to Druids. Just takes that little bit sort of. Oh, very nice line. Coming up to Surtees. Will he take the outside line? No, he goes for the inside line. Interesting. There are two lines for the corner. You can really turn it in late which is sort of more of the classic style, but turning it in early is very much lounge style. Sidebar, well done Lounsey today as well. Top job, mate. Whoa, a bit loose there. That will cost him a little bit of time. Lovely through Sheen. Now into Sterling's. Nice through Sterling's, really nice. Get the car stopped, turn it in, balance the rear end, hard on the gas. That is the best way through Clearways and Clark. Crosses the line with a 123.4, which puts him in sixth position. As you can hear, got my co-commentator as per normal in the background. And Terry just jumps in there and jumps straight to the top of the timesheets with a 121.6. But the gaps aren't as big as I thought. He's only got point one there of over Warden, so... Hopefully this will set up for a fantastic race. So guys in chat, so if you've seen the YouTube video, uh, definitely hype that bad boy up because I'm pretty hyped. I only got to watch it once, but I'll be watching it again during the break as well because it's bloody awesome. So we're just following Terry there. While we do have time as well there, guys, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of an update as well on... Uh, if I can just bring it up there, won't be a moment... I had all these photos set up, unbelievable, now they're all gone. So I just wanted to do a quick points update as well there. Uh, so we've got Warden leading the way at 870 points, Terry in second on 838. We've got Dave Ohende on 758, Glazer on 713, Charm on 705, Dan on 678, Cabris on 672, Flat Stick on 633, Seven Hertz or Mikey as we all know him on five ninety four. Myself on tenth on five seventy three. Yay, go me. Uh that way last one. Uh we got Rex there on five sixty four. Wayne on five nineteen. Ladas on four seventy four. And Prusky on four fifty. That's our top fourteen. Um we also have the Goodmond and V eight racing tonight. Uh the Goodmond's not racing tonight unfortunately. But he'll be back for group B no doubt. Uh, but V8's in tonight, so a good chance of V8 to get some really good points. Uh, which I think I think it's going to come down to that last race at Bathurst. I honestly do. I think it's going to be a real fight for the championship. So we're just keeping an eye here on Terry. We're just going to go through the field. There's Warden. There's Dan in the Norton GTR. Dabo Hendo in Castro. Fight stick in the drive. Crappy incident. <laughs> the bugbear of Australia, mate. Mm -hmm. 
So as we're watching the guys there now. Just watching flat stick here at the moment. His best lap there is a 122.8, which has him in fifth spot. It is looking like a bit of a GTR dominance in qualifying, which we've come to expect at through house. Um, it is the dominant car. Wayne there in seventh, keeping keeping the rear drive guys happy. You know, it's stunning Perkins BMW. Really do like that. We've got Prusky there in the other Perkins Racing BMW. Uh, his best time there with the 123.2. Uh, Mike there in ninth position at the moment. We've got V8 there, you know, with the 123.5. I've been chatting a little bit to V8 during the week, and uh, he's definitely concentrating on race setup. So let's definitely keep an eye on him. In terms of strategy, guys, I'm thinking uh, I've done a couple, I've sort of spoke to a few people, and race one will most likely be your standard one stop. Uh, so you're racing super softs, get in, do maybe seven laps, eight if you want to push, jump in, grab some fuel, grab a new set of boots, and off you go. Race two will be a lot more interesting. Uh, I have heard murmurings of a couple of people might try for the one stop. I think that's risky. I think the two stop will be the way to go. How you use the two-stop, though, will be interesting. Do you go for even tyres, maybe a set of racing softs? Do you go for a set of mediums early, get that really long first stint out, and then come home strong with a really good set of boots? So it should be very interesting, definitely. When it comes to strategy, there's Charm there in 11th spot in the Singloud WRX, uh, with the best time of 123.5. Lard ass in the pits for a new set of new set of tyres. We got Mikey there and the JPS BMW, as I like to call these ones, retro. Uh, he crosses the line now with a 136.2. That was his warm-up lap. Now on his flyer. So Terry now has just oh, Terry has just banged in. A 120.8 has just gone bang. So, according to that, yeah, Terry will start from pole. Um, are we surprised? Not really. It's what Terry does. So we have Terry there in first position, Warden in second, Dan in third, Prusky in fourth. Great qualifying, Prusky, well done. Dave O'Hendo in fifth, but we'll check the live timing, of course, so we do get a good idea. Right, Prusky is in a genuine fourth with a 122.2. That is a fantastic lap there by Prusky. Warden with a 121.6, also a great lap. Dave O'Hendo in fifth, Charm in sixth, Glazer in seventh, Flatstick in eighth. Ninth is Wayne with a 123.0. V8 in 10th, Lardass in 11th, 7 in 12th, and Micah there in 13th. Uh, Micah did get the very late call up, so he's had no preparation time, the poor fella. So, as we're just looking here now, just doing a little bit of housekeeping there guys won't be too much longer uh, so all our through house guys please check the through house Facebook page or the discord chat uh, there is a fantastic little video that has gone up um, so please check that out I will be doing uh, uh, there is a statement I will read out uh, at half time so please tune in for that as well uh, just a little bit of news there
So as everyone now, the grid will be set and we will get racing in Group A at Brands Hatch. Lovely little circuit this one. I, I just, I go on about it all the time. I just think it's a fantastic circuit. Well, Shane, you should uh, definitely check out Face Thrill House Facebook, mate. Have a quick look at the video. You might be surprised. Yeah. So here we go, guys. We're about to go racing. Group A. This is where it's at. These are the fast guys. This should be a cracking race. So we've got Terry off pole, Warden next to him. And we're racing! And everyone's off. Oh, Terry stalled! Terry has stalled! Oh dear! Oh, that could be championship changing. We have had a few stalls, unfortunately. So there will be a restart. Black flag, black flag. In a little joke, though, probably the whole field's gone. Oh, Terry stalled. Let's just keep going. <laughs> but no, Terry has stalled, so we'll have a black flag. Too much longer there. It's a shame. If it's tuned in Friday night, guys, we had a fantastic stream. Um, no stalling. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, but come Group A, which is our which is our best group, and we get a stall. But uh, we roll with the punches. So it should be, once we do it off the line guys, this will be a cracking race. I've just got a feeling that it's going to have a little bit of everything. So in terms of predictions, look, let's, I think Terry is going to be hard to beat. Um, he just, he's got that GTR absolutely dialed in. In saying that, this track punishes mistakes hard, really hard. So, he will need to be very smooth for 15 laps, because I think once the initial launch from the GTRs goes away, and then I think Warden will put in some really fast laps, it could be on. Prusky starting up there in fourth, I think a sneaky chance for a podium as well. Um... Prusky's probably our hardest hard-nosed racer. He knows how to make a BMW very wide. Ah, uh, no worries, Matt. Yeah, internet, mate. It's a killer, in it? Uh, glad you're still tuning in, though. Appreciate it. Really do. So, I think... Race 1 will be pretty straightforward, it normally is. Um, normally race 2 we do get a little bit of a variation in results, so that should be exciting, definitely. So, 
I'd love to know who's in the room, guys. For some reason my little counter's not coming up, so... Uh, I'll just have a look on my little list here. So I've got a few of the few of our regulars in, which is great. I uh, do appreciate all you guys tuning in. So I'm just going to head to the track now. So it's some non through house news, just a bit of a time filler. Uh, great news on the MotoGP, Jack Miller on pole, fantastic ride in the rain last night, bit of a jet in the rain. Uh, F1, Ferrari on pole, been an F1 fan and a big Ferrari fan, that's really exciting. Uh, as I said before, great news about Craig Lowndes winning today. Billy, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, love seeing Lowndesy up there, it's always good, isn't it? But uh, we are about to go racing, guys, so good timing, Billy. <laughs> so here we go, we are ra about to go racing. Thirteen cars on the grid. Terry will lead them away into Paddock Hill. Terry has stalled again. He just cannot get that GTR off the line. What is going on with Terry's GTR at the moment? There's going to be very much some uh, controversy after this. So we will probably go rolling start here, guys. Terry just can't get the GTR off the line. Go jackass. <laughs> so I'm just uh, checking a few things here, as usual. Appreciate your patience here, guys, as always. Uh, most of our viewers know, we all know what GT's like. Oh, there we go. We got my little counter up. Jack, not there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Billy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I am now calling Group A and B, so dropping back down into the gentleman's class, so I'm looking forward to that. Good luck to you, Prusky. Good luck, mate. Yeah, good luck to everyone tonight. Um, let's get this bad boy off and racing. <clears throat> now, the one positive with a rolling start it does nullify the GTR's launch capabilities. So 
just standing by now. So here we go, we are about to go racing. Good to be there, mate. And we're all off. So, rolling start. Race one. Group A, round four, Brands Hatch. Just waiting. And we are racing. Everyone looks like they have got away. Well, as Terry will lead them away. Down in the paddock hill. Warden right up his clagger. Everyone looks like they have got through Paddock Hill cleanly. Just having a look there. Slight touch between Hendo and Chase. But, oh, look up front. Look up front. Warden's got for a move at Druids. Warden. Oh, he's lost it. Warden has lost it at Druids. Oh, no. Ooh, that may be looked at. That may be looked at. We've lost Wayne there at Graham Hill. As now as the leaders come through Surtees. Terry leads the way down the hill. Dan in second, Charm in third, Glazer in fourth. We have a bit of a four-wheel drive party up front. As we head back now down through the field, flat stick in fifth, Hendo in V8 in seventh. We've got Mikey there in eighth. Micah right up him, right up him in ninth. Really right up him, light ass in tenth. And we got Wayne there in 11th, Prusky in 12th, and Warden in 13th. I would not like to be in that car at the moment. That would be one very angry Kiwi. So as we cross down the first lap, Terry leads the way with a 1.6 second lead. Dan in second, Charm in third, Glazer in fourth. So now we're just going to look for a few battles, see what's brewing. Glazer now as he's as now we will ride on board there with Glazer. A little bit loose there out of Druids into Graham Hill. Using the Holt Road and some. Breaks it late now into Surtees. Tips are in. Hard on the guess out of Surtees. Now the plunge down the hill. Pilgrims drop. into one of the best corners on the track, Hawthorns. Tip it in. Find the apex. Hard on the gas. Don't go to that curb too much. It will suck you in. Oh, a bit of a break. Oh, lovely through Shane Curve. That was magnificent through Shane Curve. back in. Watching Glazer there. So as Terry now crosses the lap with a 2.8 second lead. Dan in second. We've got Charm in third. Glazer in fourth. Glazer, oh he did have a look there at Druids. He had a real look. Dave Hendo's right on him now. He's going to make him... Oh, this is going to be a ballsy move around... Oh, he thought better of it. I thought he was going to go around the outside there, Graham Hill. Will he go for the dive into Surtees? No. Discretion is a better part of Ella. Here's our resident. Flat stick, bro. In the lovely... Jeez, that thing looks nice. Micah there in seventh. Doing the commentators proud. Mikey in eighth. Uh, battle of the BMWs here. Wayne is right all over him. All over him like a cheap suit. We've 
got Pruski in behind as well. The three Beamers having a good old ting tussle. The pride of Germany. Oh, he's going to go through a move. Oh, again, just... Oh, So head now into clearways. Accelerating hard. Mikey got a nice drive out of there. But heading back up front with our leader. Terry with a 4.2 second gap. Dan there in second. Glade, this what a battle this is between third, fourth, and fifth. Let's stay with this for a bit, race fans. So riding on board now with Charm. Our onboard camera just switched off there for a second. Oh, he he's ran it wide. He's ran it very wide. He's in the wall. He's put the Rex in the wall. Was he going for the ATM Ram Raid? Oh, we'll have to find out later after the race. Heading now back on with Davo. He's got Glazer in his gun sights. Oh, a little bit wide there on the exit, heading up the Sheen Curve. Blind turning. Really got to trust the road is there. It's uh, it's a tricky, tricky corner. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Heading now back on the outside. So just looking at that, this is probably our best battle on the track at the moment. These two are really having a real tussle of it. As I head now down the Brabham Straight. Crossing the line for their fifth lap. Now into Paddock Hill. Davo's right on him here, right on him. Set him back through the field, Mikey and Pruski. And Warden, here comes Warden. He is going to be a man possessed. He is catching these two at quite a rate of knots. As we're right on board now with Warden. He does have that lounge S style, really turns the car in early, tries to get the maximum corner speed through the corner. It does flow the car nicely. But that incident at Druids, I think, will be definitely looked at. Was it a touch? Was it him on his own? We will find out in the pre race briefing. Definitely catching these two, though, at a rate of knots. I am going to head back up the field because it looks like we have to do a bit of a battle brewing up here. Hendo has got in front there of Glazer. Hendo has moved himself in the third position. With a best lap of a 122.4. It's the GTRs now. Just looking at everyone's fuel and tyres. The GTRs will be feeling the tyre pin, the goodness go a little bit out of the tyre, a little bit of the pinch. Micah holding in beautifully. Oh, well look at Warden in the eighth position. I'm a big fan of Warden. I love his style. He just doesn't give up. Riding on board now. Gonna ride on board now with Micah. Heading on board now. Breaks it early, turns it in nice, hits the curb. Just keeps it very clean as we come up now to Sheen. Just a tap of the brake, turn it in. Really want to dance it a little bit on the nose through here. Use the whole road, use the whole exit. Nice, very nice exit out of there. Now it's a clear ways, through Clark Curve. Hard on the gas, really got a good drive out of there as well. His tyres are looking in great shape as well, so... We will keep an eye on Mike, I think he's going to have a bit of a good race here. Oh, but Terry's gone off! Oh, Terry's gone off! Oh, this is huge, this is championship changing news! Terry has had a big off! Oh, wow! That is unreal. 
So Dave O'Hendo has taken the lead. He must think, holy moly, boy, oh boy, what is going on here? Can he keep his composure? This is stunning stuff. The invincible Terry, who we just thought, Terry doesn't make mistakes, has made obviously a big blue. I did mention in my pre-race broadcast that this track punishes mistakes. And Terry has made a massive mistake here. This is championship changing. All of a sudden, Warden Owl's position is not too bad in eighth position. All the strategy plays here are going to be interesting. So we have Hendo there in first. Dan in second. Ooh, Dan's, Dan's keeping a very watching brief here. We've got Charm in third. Now, this is interesting as well. Davo has gone in first and Dan's in second. Did I don't have the replay feature happening, guys? Unfortunately, sorry about that. But did Dan and Terry get together? Oh, Terry's pitted. Terry's pitted. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, watch out, Terry here. I think he's going to go for the undercut. He's definitely going to go for the undercut here. These are going to be some fast laps by Terry. These will be very fast. Heading back now with our leader. Does Davo come in this lap? We got Dan there in second. Charm in third. Flatstick. Oh, Flatstick and Glazer are having a real ding dong here. Glazer's going for a move. This is a ballsy move. He pulls it off. And, oh, yes. Trying a move into Hawthorne's probably not your wisest idea. Oh, no, he's going to go. Oh, he's, he's really showing the nose. showing more nose than Bill Laurie. But Flatstick now has just sort of eased that gap a bit there. So heading back now with their leader, Dave O'Hinder. Will he pit this lap? Is he going to run it a bit longer? He's in. Our leader is in the pits. Dan has gone. Wow, Dan's going for another lap. This is very interesting stuff here. So Dan is going for longer. He will have to watch out for the under... Oh, jeez. This is a risky strategy, I feel. I just don't think the overcut will work on this track. Oh, oh. Flatstick runs it a little wide there. A little too much drive. Mike has just beautifully moved himself up to fourth position. We've got Hen Davos come out now in front of Pruski. Now, that is very important for his strategy there. Really didn't need to get behind Pruski there. So Davo is looking very good here. Very good. We got Terry there in seventh. Mikey in eighth. Glazer in ninth, who has pitted also. Warden has pitted also. But back up front now as Dan comes around. Just trying to work out. Dan is on the track. Yeah, there he goes. He's now climbing up to Clearways and Clark Curve. I do believe he will have to pit this lap. Just going to stay with our leader. Is he in? Our leader is in. Nice pit entry as well. Really nice pit entry. What does Charm do? Charm and Flatstick are still going. Wow, this is a very interesting strategy here. Jeez. Flat six tyres are looking fantastic at the moment. Oh, he's going for a move at Paddock Hill. Will he make a stick? Oh, will he? Oh! Oh, he tries to get into Druids. He's all over him. He's stuck to him like a three-day-old hubba bubba. Oh, he's gone wide, though. He's gone wide. He keeps it on the track, does he keep it? Oh, great, great car control. Oh, and oh, Charms went off as well. This is a ding-dong battle for the lead. Side by side as they head down. Coming up to Hawthorns. Flastic turns it in. Beautiful turning. Oh, Charm, he's not giving this up. He really is a, he's like a little Jack, Jack Russell. He's a terrier, this bloke.
These two, I think, really have to come in this lap, though. I d they cannot hold on. All this battling has really hurt them. Flat six in? Yes, flat six in. Charms in. And Micah assumes the lead. So heading now with our leader. Tyres are looking good. He's going to have a... Tyres is going to be in great shape. But look who's coming. Dave O'Hendo is absolutely on a charge. Terry's back up to third. Of course he is. That man is going to be fired up after that mistake, definitely. Glazer in fourth. Dan in fifth. Flat sick in sixth. He got in and out very quickly there. Warden now moves to seventh. Charm in eighth. Ninth is Prusky. Tenth is Mikey. Lardass in eleventh. Twelfth is Wayne. Oh, Wayne -o. Heading back down with our leader, Dave O'Hendo. He's just overtaken Mike there. So once this all plays out, oh, look who's coming now. Terry is coming like a steam train. Can Davo keep his cool, keep his keep calm under pressure? The pressure is mounting in that cockpit. There is no doubt about that. Terry's got to know Mike has got to come in the pits. Micah stays out. Terry's going for a move on the outside. Uh, the GTR just has a grip on the outside, doesn't it? And here we go now. Straight fight. Dave O'Hendo v Terry. We have three laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a motor race on our hands. This is what it's all about. Two benchmark operators at the top of their game. Both on even tyre strategies. Same virtually amount of fuel. This is high pressure stuff. If this doesn't get, an get you excited, you don't have a bloody heartbeat. Davin now tips it in through Hawthorns. Terry's coming. As we're right on board now with Terry. Drops it down the hill. Now through Sheen, clips the apex. Nice. Really uses the whole road there. He's really leaning on that tyre. He's got that really fast. Terry style, I've said it before, his style is fast. Oh, he's so good through clearways and Clark. He just finds grip. There's grip everywhere. Dave, though, he's... He's, he's going <laughs> to... This is really... Juicing up nicely. The big question is, can Davo... Oh, he makes up a bucket load of time there through into Druids. Davo pulls a little bit of gap there. Now into 30s. Both using that very late turning point. Down. Pilgrims drop one more into Hawthorns. I will go back through the field, guys, but I just want to stay really keep an eye on this battle as Terry is really closing. He's putting the blowtorch right on Davo here. This is a little bit of an unfair position here for Davo. What can he do? Can he hold on? He has got to make that the world's widest GTR. Put collagen in those bloody hips, mate. As a head down, Brabham straight once more for the penultimate lap. Terry's got a sniff here. Is he going to try an outside move in that paddock hill? That is incredibly brave if he does. No, he's going to go for the crisscross. He's setting him up for Druids. He's got the inside line for Druids. He'll break later. Will he turn it in? He does. Terry. Oh, no. Davo Hendo, he's not, he's not giving this up. Davo's definitely not going to give this up without a fight. But Terry retakes the lead. 
Wow. Makes a mistake, crashes, drops back to six, pits, and has retaken the lead. Unbelievable. What a drive. Micah in third position. He really, he's on full fuel save mode. He has gone the no stop strategy. If he can make this work, this is my drive of the race. What a race. Blazer and Dan are behind. We are going to stick with these guys for a little bit. Can Micah make the no-stop strategy work? He's desperately low on fuel. That is definitely smell of an oil with the rag stuff. Blazer's got to move here. He's going to... No. He, oh. Micah is... Oh, but Dan... Oh, look at this. This is brewing here. We've got flat stick definitely catching, Warden catching as well. As they cross the line now for the last lap, can Micah hold on? Exits beautifully out of there, really gets great drive. Dan's making a move on the inside of Druids. Dan's got moved into fourth position, lovely move. Oh, Warden, and you saw in the background there, Warden and flat stick. Have had a huge incident. Oh, Mike is still holding on. I think Dan's got him here. Dan does take him into thirties. But my, oh, look at Mike. He is not giving up without a fight. What a drive! So we've got Terry in first, Dave Ahendo in second. We will now go with our leaders. We just see where our leader is. Heading back now with Mike there. Blazers making a move. On the outs, inside at Hawthorns, breaks it later, turns it in, more grip. But as our man Terry, our benchmark operator, this guy is absolutely the top of his game. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking with who could be our new championship leader as Terry crosses the line with a masterful performance. Dave Ohendo in second with a stunning drive. Third will be Dan. So the GTRs, one, two, three. Fourth will be Glazer. Fifth will be Flat Stick. Sixth will be Charm. Micah will finish in seventh. A brave drive. Eighth is Warden. Oof. That's going to be one angry man under there, I think. N ninth will be Mikey. Tenth is Lardass. Pruski in eleventh. Wayne in twelfth. Wow, what a race. Terry with an absolute amazing performance. That will definitely change the point structure around. If I'm a mass are correct, I think Terry will be our new points leader. Look at that, the triple crown, pole position, fastest laps and the win. He's a bit of a jet that mate. He's a bit of a jet. So just recapturing our results there, we have Terry in first, Dave Ohendo in second, Dan in third, fourth is Glazer, fifth flat stick, sixth is Charm, seventh Micah, eighth Warden, ninth seven Mikey, tenth Lardass, eleventh Prusky, twelfth Wayno. Fastest lap was Terry with a 121.357. So that was race one guys, what a race, like what a race unbelievable race had everything and I do believe we have one of our drivers now in the box you're live on the air hey 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 Mike is here hey Mike how did that race go for me? I see you went for a very interesting strategy there, the no stop oh, strategy. Yeah, well, I was hoping to get in the third place, but I started running out of fuel, so I had to really conserve, and then on the last two laps, pushed it, 
to first, or not like uh, first, pushed it to the maximum um, fuel consumption, and uh, just slowly fell from the pack, and then just at the last corner ran out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so a bit gutted. <laughs> no, well, uh, I thought I was going to get third, but uh, that sucks. But next time, brave, next time. Very brave strategy call, though. That was... Uh... Yeah. Got to give you 10 for effort. At least you tried something different. Hey, I started from the back of the pack, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, that, exactly. 100% correct. So, you missed an <laughs> unbelievable race up front. No, um, I bet. Terry made a mistake. Yes, the man is human. Yeah, I drove past oh. him at one point. Yeah, and uh, but drove his way back through the field up to first. So we, we did have a little bit of controversy there in the first corner. Uh, will be interesting to see how that's looked at. By the looks of it, it may be all good, though. So that was good. So, guys, as per normal, I am going to take a little uh, couple of minutes break. Uh, you may hear Micah on the mic as well. Uh, might have Prusky drop in as well. Um, so just one second. I will unmute Prusky. He's probably trying to talk. He probably, we probably can't hear him. There we go. There we go. So, if you guys want to have a quick chat, I'm just going to have a little break, uh, and we'll be back. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. No worries. Well, I can't tell you what happened at the front of the field, but I can tell you what happened at the back, and it was not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to um, re-explain what you were just talking about a minute ago, because um, Sean didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I still started in started in P4. I thought it was going to be a, be a, be a sort of a dream start. I get top five with all these GDRs around me and a couple of and a couple of um, BMWs as well. I thought this is going to be a good stead. Um, but after <laughs> rubbing panels with Terry on on the entry to turn three there, and then just just put me off. I don't know what happened. I'll blame myself there. I'll put my hand up and it just put me in a spin. Um, bad strategy on the pitch. Shorted myself a lap. Uh, and then I had to go in for a second pit. And, um, yeah, Mikey just, um, yeah, gave him that position um, that he rightfully deserved. So, um, let's just say, <laughs> won't that make that mistake the second time? So, yeah. but good racing to Walt. Look, I, could, I saw very few yellow flags uh, pop up through, through my quiet race. Um, so, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what, what sort of happened up the front end of that field. But um, it's clean at the back once, once I was back there. So, yeah, oh, good. I don't think I even saw you in the whole race, actually. No, I was that far back, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw you at the beginning and then um, a few cars started spinning off, so I'm like, sweet, now's my chance, and then, um, yeah. yeah, just disappeared. Mm. Anyway, we'll, um, we'll see how we go with the 24 lapper. Um, yeah. It's interesting to see what pit strategy or race strategy will be for that fact as well. Um, whether people will do multiple stints on the super, um, no doubt I could sort of potentially see Terry uh, just throwing the ultimate curveball at us and probably running it hard all the way through and only bidding for um, fuel. You wouldn't surprise me with the, bloke, the, the skill that that bloke's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you definitely, you'll definitely have to pit this, um, this race because, um, yeah, pretty much I've started conserving my fuel on lap six, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, I just survived on the last lap. I literally ran out on the last corner, and that's when everyone yeah, started yeah, overtaking right. me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a bit gutted about that. So, no, we could watch the, good to watch the replay on that one. So, look, I can't see a who finished where and what. Any uh, surprise uh, front runners that finished in the top five there? I was too busy battling, uh, making my own position there to sort of see who got what. So, who surprised well, us that race? So sh what Sean was saying was um, Terry actually spun out, um, I think, midway through the race. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I overtook him, and then um, as he overtook me, that's when he went into the pits. Uh, yeah. And then I started overtaking everyone, got into first because everyone pitted. And um, it was basically... Um, Terry was in... Oh, I'm not entirely sure. Sean will have to explain it to you because... Um, the top five were, I think, were battling each other because um, they all overtook me on the last lap. Yep, mm. so um, what happened is Terry spun, dropped back down to sixth, uh, and from there decided he'd pit on lap seven, 
and then did what Terry does and drove through the field. <laughs> As you do. Uh, but the first five cars were GTRs. Ah, uh, of course. So that leads me into my statement. Uh, so during the week, the through house board board members and stakeholders had a board meeting, their annual general meeting, and it has been decided for season two that the GTR and the WRX will be banned. All four-wheel drive cars will be banned. Wow. Uh, so we are moving to a front-engined rear-wheel drive format. Um, we also, so it will definitely shake the field up. Uh, definitely will shake the establishment. Uh, so that Do we know what the cars are? Yes, I can announce the cars will be the Aston Martin Vantage, Ooh. the Jaguar XK Ooh. R, I believe, Ooh. the Hyundai, the Ford Mustang, and the BMW M4. Hey, 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 that's better. So we will have a bit of a shake-up. Uh, so the GTR boys will have to uh, migrate. To a, and I can only just sort of see Terry sitting on the top, pointing down to a all saying, you're all a pack of arseholes after that. So on the Through House page on Facebook, there is a YouTube uh, video that has gone up. Uh, so a bit of a promo for season two. Uh, but there was a bit of toing and froing between the stakeholders and the the board members, but we all came to the decision that, uh, as of season two, no four-wheel drive. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to check out everybody. Uh, I'm going to see if I can beat uh, P11 this race, so good luck to all. Good luck, good driving, tight lines. I oh, don't know, no, he's still in 8th, okay. I think, what, do you know what, what, oh, hang on, I'll just check what position he did. So just looking through, Oh yeah, he's in 8th, there we go, yeah, still good, still the same. So that is correct, Billy, no all-wheel drive, that is right. Here we go, Davo Hendo, where are you? Hmm. I'm going to reset the grid, okay. So, so uh, thanks for tuning in as always, guys. Uh, as always, do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you check out Through House on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, the old Twitter has been a bit quiet, uh, being footy season. I'm all over the place when it comes to Twitter. <laughs> but we're not talking about footy today. Uh, I am an Essendon supporter, and we got, yeah, played like, a uh, bunch of under trials was horrible to watch. What was the final score? Uh, we lost by 20 points. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, it is, definitely. But. <laughs> doesn't help when you don't play well. Nah. Hey, Billy, same here. I'm a big Aston Martin man. Uh, if I win Tats Lotto, I'll be straight to Aston Martin in South Bank. I buy myself a. Definitely a DB11 in meteorite silver uh, with a black interior. Not that I've picked it out or anything. Uh, so just yeah, whatever off. James Bond drives, I drive. Yeah, with the gadgets as well. <laughs> yeah, need the gadgets. Always need the gadgets. So I was hearing a bit of chat about strategy for this race. I think it will be interesting this race. Um, Definitely. I think two stops will be the go. I can't see anyone really risking the three-stopper. It could be interesting, but I just can't see it happening. Um, yeah, well, I, I've got no idea what I'm going to do, so... Um, yeah, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to... I don't know. Go with fate, I guess. Whatever I get, I get. <laughs> Billy, have not seen any liveries yet. Billy, all I can say to that, stay tuned. Clint, Davo on a one-stop with medium tyres. Could be an interesting strategy play there, Clint. Um, definitely, I... 
with a 25 lap race, 12 and a half laps on mediums, could be done. Is it the fastest? We will find out. Alrighty, uh, we're going to restart the race in three minutes. I'm going to jump off now. Yep. And, um, Good luck, we'll... mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'll talk to you after the race. You will. I right, have fun. You too. I agree, it could be worth a go, definitely. I mean, we're getting to that stage of the championship where it's, some risks maybe need to be taken, definitely. So race two tonight, guys, is 25 laps. Um, we do have tyre wear on time six. We have, fuel stays the same. So, just having a look through people's tyre selections, we've got Davo there on medium front, super softs on the rear. A few people. Terry's gone for softs on the front, super softs on the rear. Charm's gone with a medium, super soft option. Wayne with the mediums all round. Warden with the soft softs. Flat stick with the soft, super soft option. So, we do have a a little bit of different tyres running here, so this should be very interesting. Looking forward to this. Oh, the good mind he's giving a little bit of a strategy away there for his Group B race. He's tempted to one stop it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it works out, actually. I think the good thing for us Group B and C guys is we can see what these guys do and we can sort of go off that, can't we? So, 15 viewers tonight. We did peak at 19. I do appreciate everyone tuning in. Tuning in. Uh, don't be shy and chat, guys. You know, chat away, really. Uh, I love interacting with chat. It's all what part of streaming is all about. So, we've just... Uh, we will start in about two to three minutes. Uh, it's nice to have a little break in between races. Mainly because, you know, everyone needs to recharge. And This track is very mentally draining as well. It's, you don't get a real rest. A little rest maybe down Pilgrim's Drop, but that's about it. It is a great circuit. Oh, thanks, D. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I saw you there driving around on um, Friday night in your M3. It was a bit of fun there. <laughs> uh, no news on tracks for Season 2 yet, Billy. Uh, we definitely are, The schedule hasn't been released. Exactly, Clint. It has great flow. Really good flow. You've really got to really be nice with your turn in. Very smooth. Modulate your brake pedal. But you also got to have good retardation. Hey, Lardass. Welcome to chat. Let's have a drink there, guys. Of nice cold milk. I do love me milk. So it won't be long, we'll get this race two underway. It is good fun, definitely. I do like the hump day and Friday night races, you know, a bit relaxing. Sort of everyone can sort of unwind because the supercar races can be. Semi or f oh, full cream, mate. Eh?
Don't drink none of that light skims crap, mate. Full cream, full death, full fat. Alright, guys, we're about to go racing. So, as they line up now, it's a bit of a GTR benefit up front, but we expected that. Hey, Louis, welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. Revs rising, tension rising, racing, and everyone has got off the line fantastically, so we have a race, ladies and gentlemen. As they head now, drop down in the paddock. Terry leads the way, we've got Dave Ohendo here. Will he make a bold move into Druids? Terry going very defensive early. Everyone's got through Druids cleanly, but look at it, they have, this is great. So Terry leads the way now as they head up to Certes. GTRs absolutely everywhere. It's like West Sydney. So Terry leads away. Oh, flat six run it wide. Dave Ohendo's run wide. Charms moved to the second. Dave Ohendo has in the kitty litter and has dropped him back a bucket load of spots. Terry leads the way. Charm in second. Flat six and third. We've got Micah in fourth. Micah with another fantastic start. He has just got that Mustang hooked up at the moment. Dan in fifth, Glazer in sixth. Pruski in seventh, Lardas in eighth. We've got a bit of a battle here between V8 and Wharton. Oh, Lardas set a big off, so is Pruski. Oh, Wayne, Wayne has hit Lardas, and Lardas is in the kitty litter. Oh boy, oh boy, that will be looked at. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be looked at. There is no doubt about that. So Terry leads the way across the line with a 2.1 second le lead. He is trying to break this field here. Charm in second. We've got Flat Stick in third. Micah there in fourth. Doing the rear real drive, guys, proud. Fifth is Dan. Oh, 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 Dan's got a bit of Drift Nationals there. Thinks he's in the D1 Grand Prix. That kitty lit, that's what I was saying about this track, guys. It punishes mistakes. So Terry's leading the way. We will stay with this battle here because this is brewing up very nicely. So now riding on board with flat stick. Breaks it late, turns it in, clips the curb. Nice turn in, really nice flow he's got going in as they head up the sheen curve. Blind turn in. Finds the curb, he's running a little wide, he's on the ground. Oh, oh, he spun it, he spun it, he spun it. It's hit Micah, that's a huge accident. Oh boy, he's facing around the wrong way. The track is jammed. Oh, that is a huge incident. He will be ruining that mistake. And that has moved Dan into third. Glazer into fourth, Micah into fifth. So Terry now with a five second lead. Charm in second. We've got Dan in third. Glazer in fourth. Micah in fifth. Warden has moved his way up to has moved his way up to fifth actually. Oh wow. He's just got past there. A druid's past Micah. This ladies and gentlemen will be the man to watch. After race one, he will be a man on a very serious dangerous black op mission. If I can give some advice to our other racers, get out of Warden's way. This bloke is on a charge. As they drop down Dingle down now. Oh, we've had another off. We've lost who have we lost there? It looks like Dan. We've lost Dan. Oh, race two is really producing some mistakes here from normally guys that are super smooth. We did mention at the start of the broadcast, this track punishes mistakes. So our Glazer now in third. Warden's right behind him now. G 
Geez, Warden's really coming through the field. He's right on him at Druids. I think he's going to set him up for a move at Surtees. No doubt about it. He's going to set him up for a move at Surtees. Uses the whole curb and some. He's going to try to move. He's gone the tight inside line. Oh, it's a head down now. Pilgrim's drop. He's going, to, he's going to sit behind him at Hawthorns. It's going to be interesting where, sort of through here, it's very one line, very hard to pass. As I head up to Sheen now, he may have a go at Sterling's. If not, he may have a go at Clark. Oh, 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 a bit tailly on the exit there. That has lost him a little bit of drive out of the corner there. That could hurt him. So we're just sticking with this battle here, guys. Just want to see how this develops. He makes up so much time through Paddock Hill. He's so fast through there. So it looks like we have had another spitter. We've, oh, geez, there is incidents everywhere. Trying to keep track of everything is very difficult. So Charm has really dropped some time here. Charm's dropped a lot of time here. So as we move now through the field, V8's moved himself up to fifth. Great drive there by V8 in that other console Mustang. Dave Hendo has slowly crawled his way back up to sixth. Micah at seventh. Wayne in 8th, Dan in 9th, Flatstick in 10th, Mikey in 11th, Lardass in 12th, and Pruski in 13th. As we head back up the front, Terry's got a 6 second lead. Now, that's interesting. It's sort of stagnated, the gap is still growing now. Charm in 2nd. Blazer in third, Warden in fourth, V8 in fifth, Hendo in sixth, Micah in seventh. Just looking for a few battles here, guys. We might stick with our third, fourth, second, third, fourth battle. This is shaping up beautifully again. As now we ride on board with Glazer. Heading down now. Out of Graham Hill, along the short Cooper Strait. Now into Surtees. Because Poms have to name every part of the track, so it's very difficult to call. Out of Sterling's now. See, I even I'm getting mixed up. Out of, <laughs> out of Surtees down, Pigwim's drop. Into Hawthorns. Down the Minter Strait. Into Westfield. Tricky corner, this one. Such a tricky corner. Down through Dingledale. Across Sheen Curve. Now into Sterling's. Really used the camber of the road there. Turns it in nicely. Great exit now coming through up to Clearways and Clark Curve. Oh, Charm gets the bum out. Getting his Shakira dance on. Runs it very wide. Very wide. He's got it sideways. Oh, that is a huge mistake there by Charm. That's going to cost him a bit of time. V8 is in the pits. V8 is in the pits. So that's it. That's a bit of an early pit stop for mine. That's a very early pit stop for mine. Heading now with our leader, Terry. He's just... Another masterclass at the moment. So Glazer now in the second position. Warden has moved up the third. Been a real gutsy, determined, mongrel drive here from Warden. Real true grit and determination. Got Hendo in fifth. Micah there in sixth. Dan in seventh. 8th is Wayno, 9th is Flatstick, 7th is Mike, and 11th is V8. So just looking, 
gaps are starting to open up a little bit here. This is probably our race at the moment. Bit of a ding. So we're just going to have a look at tyres. Ooh, interesting here. See, now this is something I didn't expect. The GTRs are actually using less front tyre than the M4. Didn't expect that. Terry's pitted, our leaders in the pits. So Terry's pitted on lap eight, ladies and gentlemen. So Glazer now assumes first position. Now, what's interesting here is his tyre life. If he can get maybe nine laps. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't think he's on racing super softs. I just... I just don't think he is. If he is, this is a stonking drive. So as our two leaders now plunge down into Pilgrim's Drop. Coming up now to Hawthorns. Both braking very late in the clear ways using all the curb. So Terry Hayes drops back in in fifth position after his pit stop. So what will they do this lap? Are we going to see some pit action here? So by the looks of it, Warden is in. Warden is in. They're both in the pits. Both in the pits. So Hendo will cross the line now in first position. He's gone for the race in mediums on the front. So he's definitely going for the longer first stint, which is interesting. I like the strategy play there. So Terry's moved into second position now. Dan in third. Dan again going for the mediums. So just looking back through the field here. Flat stick there. We've got Glazer in sixth, Warden in seventh. These two are attached at the hip at the moment. Got a bit of a battle here with the Falcons. V8 and Mike are having a bit of an old ding dong, ring a ding dinger. So V8 in that other console Mustang, followed by Micah in the DJR Team Penske Mustang. But V8 has got the hammer down. He has the best lap of a 123.5 at the moment. As we now head back with our leader, Dave Ohendo. He's got a 2.7 gap over Terry. So once all the stops do cleanse, Terry will assume the lead again. But Dave is going around for another lap. He's really going for a long first stint. This is a very interesting play here. David now is coming up on our first of the lap track. Dan is in the pits. Dan has pitted. So, all bit of a battle here. Wayne is third. Glazer in fourth. Fifth is Warden. Wayne hasn't stopped yet. Is he going to argue this or is he going to let him go? No, he is going to absolutely argue this. This is question time in Parliament argument. But Glazer does make the move going into Surtees. Wayne's lost it. Oh, bit of a bum dance. So Terry now right on, Davo. Really putting the screws on. Dave, what's he going to do here? He, I think he has to come in this lap. I think he has to. He's just bleeding time at the moment. No, he's going around for another circulation. Okay, this is inc this is a very long first stint. So 
So as you can see, his lap times have really fallen away. Oh, this could hurt him here. This could very much hurt him. This now brings Glazer and Warden in for the podium positions. Because if Davio does keep going, he's going to bleed a lot of time here. But this is this is definitely the race at the moment, these two guys. Davo could be going for the one stop, yes. I have been informed by my spotters in chat. Oh we haven't oh Dan spun! Oh that could be costly. That could be very costly. And he's in the wall. Oh that's damaged his car as well. Oh dear oh dear. Oh how will the Norton team feel about that? Oh, the TAFE boys are going to have some work tonight. But as we head back now with our leader, Terry with a 3.67 le second lead over Dave Ohendo, who could be on for the one-stop strategy here. We've got Glazer there in third. Warden in fourth. These two have not left each other. This is married at first sight stuff. Look at them. It's like they're on a first date and they just can't say goodbye. So as they cross the line now, we're on lap 12. Drop down in the paddock hill. Oh, Warden using the whole road there. So we're going to ride on now with Warden. Oh, as he comes out of Druids. Wayne's in the pits. Breaks it late in the search. He's very late. Accelerates hard. He's got a sniff here. He's got a sniff. Like a 90s Colombian. Is he going to make a move into Hawthorne? This is a ballsy move. Oh, he did argue the point. He did argue the point. He's got through. Stunning. Stunning move. Oh, keep, oh, keeps it. Oh, that is, oh, that is a magnificent move. That is our armor all move of the race, ladies and gentlemen. That is a brave move into Hawthorns. Now the question will be, does Glazer let him go? Can Warden break Glazer or was Glazer going to say, no, no worries. I'll take that on board. Hendo is in the pits on lap 12. So the one drop strategy is definitely in play. That might be looked at at race control. We will see. There was a little argy bargy there. Now, was it argy bargy or argy bargy? That will be the question. V8 is also in the pits, I believe, for his second stop. It's a very 50-50 call, that overtake. That will be... I think that will be investigated post-race, definitely. Race control, got a bit of a hard choice to make there. Could have been worse, yes. Mm, interesting. So it's, race is now, hits its little midpoint. We'll just do a bit of a run through the field. So we've got Terry in for first spot with a 14 second gap. Warden after that unbelievable move that Hawthorne's in second. Glazer in third. He's dropping a little bit of time here to Warden, so that could have rattled him a little bit. We will keep an eye on that. Fourth is Mo Micah in fourth. Another stunning drive. He really is. Just got a bit of a... bit of a, He's got a strategic mind, the young Micah. Fifth is Davo Hendo. Great comeback there by Davo. He's... The one-stop strategy is in play, definitely. Sixth is V8. We've got seventh is Charm. Eighth is... Ninth, sorry, is flat stick. Tenth is Wayno. We got Pruski in eleventh, Mikey in twelfth, and Lardas in thirteenth. So we're just looking for the race battles here, guys. Just having a look there. Mike is in the pits. So this is a oh, Dan and Charm having a bit of a bit of a go here into oh in the paddock hill. Oh, Ch Dan around the outside. Ridiculous move. Real, really got the bit between the teeth there, Dan. 
After that spin, I reckon this is one fired up. Dan driving at the moment. He's a very, very angry man at the moment, and his, his driving style is definitely showing it. Aggressive on turning, really stomping on that loud pedal. Then that V6 twin turbo fires to life, and off he goes. Heading back now with our leader. Terry just really, this is becoming a bit of a Sunday drive for Terry. Probably stop off, pick the missus up, go out for a nice coffee. Warden there in second spot. Glazer's not letting him go though. These, this battle isn't over between these two, I'm going to call it now. That was round one. This is Fraser R. Lee style. Fourth is V8. Great drive by V8. Very nice drive. Dan in fifth. Let's have a look at the gap there between Dan and V8. It is coming down. It's hovering around that four second mark, so that could develop later on in the race as well. We've got Charm in sixth. Davo in seventh. Eighth is Micah. Ninth Wayne. Tenth flat stick. Pruski in 11th, and we've got Mikey in 12th, and Ladas in 13th. So the gaps, as normally happens in race two, just starting to open up a little bit. As everyone sort of gets used to their tyre, this is probably the hardest part of the race, the midpoint. It's where you really got to get into a nice flow, a nice rhythm. Hit your apexes, hit your braking markers, really flow the car, and then make sure you have enough left in the tank, mentally, physically, and in the car, to really push hard for that. You basically buy a ticket to the final round. So these two are still attached at the moment. It is getting to that stage, they may need to have to get a room. Warden, Warden has eked out a bit of a gap though. It's now about around that 1.6, 1.7 second mark. Running low on fuel as well, and tyres are becoming an issue, so they will be in soon. I have no, I'm have i going to call it now. I think Warden may be in this lap. So he went for the classic even tyre two-stop strategy. We'll see how that plays out towards the end of the race. So why I do have a chance, sort of, bit of a lull here in the race. We will announce as well that uh, there'll be no tobacco sponsorship for Season 2 as well, as we have crossed to an absolute ring a -ding battle here. Davo, Micah and Charm just bumped the tail to bum. This is a human centipede style. Probably shouldn't have said that, but anyway, we'll get away with it. Uh, Glazer and Warden are in the pits at the moment. Glazer's fuel, interesting. He saved a lot more fuel there. Very interesting. So Davo there. Micah in seventh. Charm in eighth. So rip it in. A little bit of a charm's dropped off a little bit here. But Hendo and Micah. Oh, look at this. These two go at it. Ford versus Nissan. Mike is going for a move at Druids. He's turned it in beautifully. Has he got the drive out of the corner? He has. Now he just has to hold his line here. Ah, oh, magnificent move. Brilliant. Fantastic. That is a great move. That is really a classic overtake there at Druids. Just that title line. Uh, our leader Terry is in the pits. Uh, so he's just getting for a donut, maybe a cup of coffee. So Glazer there in second position. So, oh, now what has happened there? So because Glazer's on major fuel save there, 
He's really, that has really cemented his second spot. He's actually opened up a six second gap over Warden. Really good strategy call. Dan in fourth. Micah and Dave, oh, these two, yep, this isn't over. Sorry about the static there, guys. So, Micah there in fourth. Dan's in the pits. So I think now we are going to run to the flag. So a quick check. Terry has a 14 second gap over Glazer. Glazer with 5.9 seconds. Micah in fifth. Another great drive there by Micah. Very good strategy call on that one. We've got Charm there in sixth. Wayne in seventh. Eighth is V8. Ninth is Dan. A little bit of a developing battle here. I'll just stay with this for half a lap or so. Mustang. Oh, this is look at this. Look at this battle brewing up here. So we've got Charm and Six Wayne's in the pits. Definitely a bit of a battle brew between these guys here. I'm going to go back and check the gap between Glazer and Warden. It's, it's at five seconds, so I think I think that strategy call by Glazer there was a little bit of a master stroke. Hendo with the one-stop strategy in fourth position. Good call there on the one-stop. I am glad someone tried it. Micah in fifth. Now, let's have a look at the gap between Micah and Hendo. Is, is he catching him? Is he losing? He's losing time. So that could balance out there, but I think... I think our top five might be set here, guys. Uh, sixth is Dan. Seventh is Charm. So Dan has got past Charm. Charm must be really struggling on tyres here. He is by the looks of it. V8's going for a move. Oh, that's a ballsy move. Oh, it's a sheen curve. That's a very ballsy move. Charms lost it. Charms off. I don't think there was a touch there. Yep. Charms fronts are cooked. Oh, oh, oh. V oh, bit of a bum wiggle there. As he tried to put all 500 horsepower to the ground, the rear end said, uh, no, that won't be happening today. But the other console is still driving nice. Seventh position, great drive. As we check in with our leader, Terry now crosses the line for his 21st lap. Another Sunday drive here by Terry. Glazer in second. Warden in third. How's the gap? Still around that five second mark. Davo in fourth. We've got Micah there in fifth. Let's look at Davo and Micah's tyres. Just for a comparison. No, pretty stagnant. Dan in sixth. V8 there in seventh. Eighth is Charm, ninth is Wayno, tenth flat stick, eleventh is Mikey. We've got Pruski in twelfth. Ooh, a little bit of a cheeky battle here, maybe brewing between Pruski and Mikey. Two BMWs going at it. 
prusky has got his hazards on. I don't know if he's in auto drive or he's just letting everybody know that he might have a mechanical. Oh, oh. There's a move coming here. There's a move coming here. Both break it. Oh, Prusky real sideways. A lot of attitude on the car. So, guys in chat, if you could uh, <clears throat> put your driver of the race so f uh, in chat, and I'll announce it on the last lap. So, Davo there in fourth position. Micah in fifth. Dan in sixth. Just going to sit on board there with Warden now for just a little bit. Really noticing the front tyres go. So just going to look through the field to see if there are any battles. Oh, oh, oh! Wayne has moved up to. Hey, Charms had another off. Oh, this race too hasn't really worked out. So ninth is flat stick. Terry, as Terry comes up to put a lap there on flat stick. Uh, oh, flat stick's off. So Glazer there, second position. Warden's in third. Fourth, Davo. Micah there in fifth. Made a good drive there by Micah. If I had to pick a driver of the race, mm, tough call. Tough call. Yes, definitely the the endurance is really kicking in now. These these second races are very long and they do take a toll. Definitely physically take a toll, but more mentally. So I think for the last lap, we're going to stick with our leader, Terry. There are no superlatives to describe this drive and this racer. He's fast, he's clean, he's consistent, he's just got a really great style. He just knows how to put the car in the right spot. Unbelievable drive. He really is the benchmark operator in this game. This is a guy that is absolutely at the peak of his powers. Glazer, an absolute stunning drive. Um, really great little strategy call there as well uh, with the fuel loads. Really done great. For me, this is my driver of the race. Warden had a shocking first race. Has drove through the field and been the first of our front, wheel drive, front rear drivers as well. This guy is going to be a real threat in Season 2. Mark my words on it. Fourth is Dave Ohendo. Another great drive. But Mike... Oh, here we go. We have a little battle ruin here. Oh, Mike is actually going to have a... Does he have enough tyre to have a go? So Terry does cross the line in first position. But I think Dave will hold on to this fourth position there. So we've got Glazer there in second. Great drive, Glazer. Great strategy call. Really just 
nailed that strategy. Third will be Warden's fantastic drive. Drove through the field beautifully. Fourth will be Davo. Unless there's a mistake, there's no mistake here. So he'll just tip it in now through clearways in the, out of the clerk. And Davo will finish fourth. Good bank of points there for Davo, definitely. That'll help the ch his championship, no doubt. Micah in fifth spot. Great drive, Micah. Sixth will be Dan. Had a few incidents, old Danny boy. He, uh, definitely be ruining some missed opportunities. Eight. Not a bad drive from V8. Backing his first drive in Group A. Good drive, definitely. And eighth, Wayno. Ninth, flat sick. Tenth was Mikey. And that is race two, ladies and gentlemen. Group A, round four at Brands Hatch. And Terry takes the clean sweep. Two pole positions, two fastest laps, and two victories. So just going over the race results again. We have Terry in first position. Glazer in second. Warden in third. Davo in fourth. Micah in fifth. Dan in sixth. V8 in seventh. Eighth was Wayno. Ninth, Flatstick. Tenth was Mikey, 11th Prusky, 12th Charm, and 13th Lardass. And Terry set the fastest lap uh, with a 121.244. Wow. So that is Group A round four out of the way, which was an interesting race. There was some definitely interesting strategy calls there in that race. Um, Terry definitely proved it. Class of the field, though. He was definitely a class above today. But some really great drives in there as well. Ah, cheers, Dilza. Cheers, Billy. Yeah, I do enjoy the old com coms. Hey, here he is, Micah, our fifth position, uh, fifth place getter from race two. How'd you find that race? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, quite a few spin outs out race. Was it just tiredness, you think, or maybe um, a bit of pressure? Yeah, yeah probably. Because um, me and uh, myself and um, Davo were pretty close throughout the majority of the race and ended up overtaking him. But I don't know if it's just um, um, lack of fatigue or just the tyre wear, just um, over judging how much grip I've got. But. Um, yeah, a bit gutted that I spun out and then Davo overtook me, but almost took him at the end, but, yeah. Yeah, I thought you might catch it's... him there. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I think it's just people over-predicting on how much tyre wear they've got, and, um, yeah, because as soon as you hit the grass on this track, you are gone. You are literally gone. <laughs> yeah, it does punish mistakes, this track, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but other than that, that was good. Good fun. Ah, good to hear it. So... Just in terms of sort of what's coming up here, guys. Um, so we will stay in chat for another five, ten minutes, as I like to do. Just see if people want to have a quick chat there or answer any questions. Uh, so Tuesday night will be Group B. Uh, group B at Brands Hatch. Um, if Group P's proved anything, normally a ring-a-ding-ding a -ding -ding Group B. <laughs> uh, those boys definitely like to get the old shoulders out. <laughs> Uh, so, Ol will be in the box for that one as well. So, looking forward to that. I and suppose that's one. Sorry, I suppose that's one thing I've noticed with this group. This group are very um, aggressive and defensive, but we don't seem to clash a lot. Where with Group B, they're aggressive. Don't mess with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Group B is definitely the savages group. Um, they get in there mm. hard. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Prusky, ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Prusky's out. <laughs> time to sulk, regroup next time. Aww. That's it. There's always next week, mate. Just like footy. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Louis. Appreciate it. Other than no. that, from your point of view, how was the race? Ah, uh, yeah, interesting. Some good little battles there. Um, Warden pulled off one of the greatest moves I've seen. Um, okay. Going into Hawth. So, as he come out of... 
oh, I don't know if you know the track that well, but you come out of the first hairpin of Druids, down through that crappy corner, yep. through through Surtees, and as you head down the drop, Pilgrim's Drop, and into Hawthorns, he pulled mm-hmm. a move into Hawthorns. Unbelievable. Stunning oh, right. move. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so just I, reading... I... Sorry, continue. Uh, Clint, uh, we're not going to handicap the four-wheel drive cars. Since we are moving away from four-wheel drive for Season 2, um, we're just going to let Season 1 play out, enjoy it, and then really hit it hard for Season 2. Uh, go ahead, Michael. What you got to say? Um, I was going to say, uh, my pit stop strategy did stuff up because um, when I did my first pit stop, uh, I accidentally... Um, told the guys to not fill up my car, so as soon as I went back onto the track, I had five laps of fuel with fresh tyres. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whoopsie doodle. Um, yeah, so I missed a fair few laps in that one. I had to pit on lap um, 14, so I had to stick to my super softs for another 10 laps. Uh, I'm a bit gutted about that too, because I um, could have made it into fourth in the end, but oh, stakes happy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, two more races, Billy. Uh, so we've got, uh... Uh, I think it's four more weeks. Four more weeks. There could be a rumour we might condense it a little bit. We're not sure. We, uh, the stakeholders will have a bit of a, bit of a chat about that. Um, so we could sort of condense it, get season one done with, have a bit of a, a little break, not too much of a break, but I think we all need a little break. And then uh, really hit season two. Um, season two is going to be incredibly exciting, I think. I doubt. So after Brands, what tracks next? Um, oh, we can announce it, can't we? Yeah. Well, I can't I, remember what it is. What is I, it? I'm trying to remember myself actually. It's one of two. I know that. I better not say anything because I don't know which one it is. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. If it's Suzuki. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We do know last round is a Bathurst, so there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Now, the last round that's also... That's an endurance race, too. It is. It will be a single endurance race. Uh, so, definitely looking forward to calling one, that one. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Mm. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I uh, do really appreciate everyone tuning in. As always, uh, check out Through House Supercars on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um... Great job by all our racers tonight. Uh, Micah, awesome job hosting as always, mate. Uh, you oh, thank the... you. Thank you for um, commentating. Sucks uh, I didn't get to, but um, that, was, that was my first Group A race as well, so that was quite enjoyable. A uh, good bank of points, mate. Good bank of points. Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, as usual, chat, uh, thank you. Um, love reading all your comments. Love interacting with you guys. Uh, always a lot of fun. Uh, so... Definitely be ready for Tuesday, Group B. Group B, um, I'm not sure on time yet, but I'm going to believe, just give me two seconds and uh, pull up the old schedule. Uh, we all, we do love a good schedule, don't we? <laughs> just having a look there. We'll just press a couple of buttons. Just talk amongst yourself there, guys. Uh, so, Group B, Brands Hatch will be uh so the lobby opens so qualifying at 750 good chance that then i'll start the stream at around 750 745 so we will nut those out of course there'll be links the whole oh there we go oh clint's even posted it up for me great start clint oh this bloke's all over it 750 qualifying stream guys go live at 750 uh always subject to change of course uh, but 7.50, so 10 to 8. Um, we're all on normal time now, so that's great. Uh, so 10 to 8. Group A, uh, Group B, round 4 at Brands Hatch. On that, guys, this is your resident commentator, Sean, a.k.a. Ghost, signing off for the evening. And as always, this is Thrill House Supercars.